let's solve the system of equations we see on the screen we can see that both the axis and the y's on the on both of the equations are squared so this is a system of e second degree equations and as we can make a change of variable that is just for avoiding the squares we're going to do it everything straight away with no changes at all now let's use a reduction method so let's multiply the first equation times the coefficient of the x square of the second equation that is 1 and let's multiply the second equation by the coefficient of the x square of the first equation that is 2 but be careful we have to change the sign of these two so let's multiply it by minus 2 the first equation as, as it is multiplied by 1 stays the same there's no changes on it and the second equation times minus 2 is minus 2 times x square minus 2 x square minus 3 times minus 2 is plus 6 times y square and 1 times minus 2 that is minus 2 now let's just add both of the equations 2x square minus 2x square is 0 y square plus 6y square is 7y square and now 9 minus 2 is equal 7 so from here y square would be equal to 7 divided by 7 and that is equal 1 as y square is equal 1 y would be equal to plus minus the square root of 1 and that is the same as plus minus 1 so we have two solutions for y y equal 1 and y equal to minus 1 two different solutions for y and now if y is equal 1 let's substitute it on any of the equations let's do it for example on the second one we would obtain the same result by substituting it on the first one of course so don't worry about that substituting the one we would have x square minus 3 times 1 square equal 1 so x square minus 3 times 1 square is 1 equal 1 from where x square minus 3 is equal 1 from here the x square would be equal to 1 plus 3 because the minus 3 goes as plus 3 and that is x square equal 4 and x is equal to the square root I'm sorry plus minus the square root of 4 that is equal to plus minus 2 again we have two solutions for the x plus 2 and minus 2 and we have for y equal 1 we have and that x can be equal to and that the x can be equal to minus 2 two different solutions for the same number of the y and now for the second solution for of the y that is y equal minus 1 let's substitute the minus 1 on the second equation again we would have that x square minus 3 times y that is minus 1 square that is equal 1 so we would have x square minus 3 times 1 equal 1 and here is x square minus 3 equal 1 from here we, we would obtain x square equal to 3 1 plus 3 so x square is equal 4 so x would be equal to plus minus the square root of 4 that is the same as plus minus 2 and again we have two solutions for the same value of the y for y equal to minus 1 the x is equal to and for y equal to minus 1 the 
x can be also v minus 2. And now, as we can see, we have four solutions for our system. 2 for 1, for y equal 1, and 2 for y equal minus 1.